New York City is an aggressive, trash talking, in your face culture. You know, it's the city that doesn't sleep. New York's the Mecca. New York always had the best basketball players. We in the record books. The way we approach the game, the way we walk in the gym, the way we dress. It made the game sexy. Yeah. Made the game stylish. Yeah. You know, we're flashy. Yeah. We like the ah. Because here's where you get your name, here's where you get your reputation. You never know who's watching you on West Fourth Street. We had coaches that came from overseas looking for talent. And this is the closest to non-pro basketball that you can get. Nobody plays the game like New Yorkers. You pass a park in the summertime on a nice day, somebody's hooping in every park. Obviously, basketball is that game that you ain't gotta have no money to play. You just got, you ain't really even gotta have shoes. It just show up. Somebody got a ball, get in the game. If you come from New York, street ball is almost everything. You know, guys here take it very serious. You'll see a guy who's probably played pro ball, but then the guy who works in a grocery store that will give him buckets too, in long pants, jeans. To me, street ball is like a misnomer. To me, it's like the park and he played in the park, and you played in the park, and that's where you first played. All of the great players in every city all played in the park. I was 13 years old when I first played in my first tournament. It just took me around New York City and playing against the best guys in that local area. Playing in these parks, you know, definitely developed my toughness. I always played against guys older than me, guys tougher than me that beat me up, that never gave me a foul call whenever I called foul. It didn't matter what court I went to, I had to prove why I was on that court. Street basketball here in New York City is who I am. Everything that I've become, you know, I got to the NBA based on the toughness that I gathered playing in the streets. A kid that's destined to be in the NBA, or at least college, they notice at eight years old. When they're playing at Gauchos, they're playing at Riverside, they already know, oh, this kid watching. If there was ever a player to ever play in street basketball that I ever seen that deserved to be in the NBA was a butter. My name is Adrian Walton, AKA whole lot of game, AKA a butter. He was the one player that could have made it to the NBA out of the streets. There's no question. I come from Harlem. I was made in Harlem. I play at Rucker Park. I brought Rasheed Wallace. I brought Carmelo Anthony. I brought whoever to the sideline. And they all said, this guy's supposed to be in the NBA. This park out here, legendary. It created and shaped who I am today. I played against a lot of NBA players up here at a time in an era where New York City basketball was known all around the world. The thing that makes New York City basketball so special is the energy, the people. It brings a different type of energy that you feel like it's something that you want to leave out there to make sure that people stay and watch or always want to come back. A Butter used to destroy us when he played us, like destroy. So. We had a game that went four overtimes. Bucket for bucket for bucket for bucket. And it was like, this is how good this kid was. I wound up bribing him. You know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I had to eliminate the, the biggest enemy. There's never really one king because in New York, it's so competitive. That's the great thing about living in this city. It's a competitive city that it will never be a number one. Street's first podcast where legends never die. I wanted to make sure that I didn't allow the next generation to forget who were before them. It's your boy A Butter, and I'm back with another episode of that Streets First podcast. You already know how your boy do. I stay bringing them out, man. This time we're in Harlem on 45th. I had to come and get one of the legends. McDonald's All-American. Don't get it twisted. Got drafted to the Wizards. Yeah, y'all see it? I'm wearing his jersey. You heard? Sham God Wells is in the building. When you could come out here and perform for the people, when it's no holds bars, when people could touch you and talk to you and everybody's not kissing your butt and you can't look back and say, well, I'm getting 20 million and things like that. When the only thing you have is the court and basketball and you come out a winner, it's no better feeling. It's, it's, it's better than anything. It's better than playing at Madison Square Garden. Here's where it's the purest form. I tell people all the time, when you look at the NBA, ain't but 350 players. You know how many hundreds of millions of kids aspire to be in the NBA? Hundreds of millions of people 
across the world. These kids get up every day playing basketball. It's only 350 players. So the last guy on the bench dropped 100 points in this high school game. Like, it's no surprise when the, when, when the team turns around and don't have a star and all of a sudden they start winning. Why? Because everybody on the team could drop 100. With my success, I'm just trying to show people that, yeah, I played the NBA two years, but my impact is the person that played the NBA 20 years. When you talk about the Kings of New York, I wasn't playing the game back then growing up as a street ball player unless I got paid to play. The money games are serious. They've always been serious. You see $50,000 on the floor. The money on the wood makes the game go good. And that could start from a conversation, a late night conversation or early morning conversation. Your mother might get a knock on her door at 11.30. Excuse me, Mr. Jasper, can we borrow your son? I mean, you know, we know it's late. We need him playing this game. But the culture is so ingrained, that's okay. You know, I remember 13, 14 going, taking the D train, 2.30 in the afternoon to catch a seven o'clock game at the Rucker just to get a seat. And I, I did that for years before I even thought about putting on the jersey. So if you ask some people where the best run is, it could be anywhere. You get a call, who's playing there? Everywhere I played, it was, you know, Fridge is playing today, we gotta go see, and we gotta go see who's he either gonna kill or who's gonna step to the plate to try to kill him. Just because the desire to play against the best at the time, all right, we going. You come out to the park early, the music was on, and you played the game to a rhythm. Even the way you bounced the ball, mm, 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 mm. You, you, your moves are rhythmic. As a basketball player, I know what I want to hear. I want to hear music. I want to hear things that get me riled up or somebody talking trash, almost like a party. It's like you're in a club, but I'm bringing it outside. When you step into that arena, you got to be on your A game because a lot of basketball players out of New York City, they enjoy having names. So I'm that guy who give you the name that you carry with you on your way through college. Players today are great players. You know, Jamal Nixon, Brandon Fraser. I can go on and on. Those guys are great players. My name is uh, Zamal Nixon uh, in New York City. I go by a lot of names, man. I, Z, Z Nix. I've been the truth before. Call me World War Z. Mr. Unpredictable. I mean, they, just, they love me out here, man. I don't even know. I, they call me so many names in my city, man. What I'm going to do? My name is Brandon Frazier. Uh, they call me B, B Frazier. When I was little, they used to call me Slow Motion. Mm -hmm. French. French. <laughs> yeah, so. In this area right here, they used to have Smurf tournament in PS20. They used to make the uh, small rim for the little kids to play. So that's kind of where our friendship started, and you know, here we are. This has been my third year playing overseas. Uh, I just finished my sixth professional season overseas. Everybody doesn't have the opportunity to go to the NBA, but we've still been able to kind of do what we love and experience other cultures in the process of that. So being from New York, there's so many guys that play within Europe. You know, I, I play against some of my friends from New York, or if they're in a city close to me, I'll try to go to the, these games and just have that support, even if I don't get to see these guys. You know, even me and Brandon, we don't get to see each other during the year, but we always gonna speak during the week on FaceTime, just check on each other, just, you know, kind of get through that time with each other. You ain't never been to Wings before? Never. It's looking like it's about to be I'm always trying to spot. put my little bro on new things. You, you know what I'm saying? Live in New York. Man. You like got to gotta explore spot. all the eating options, you know? You ain't treating yourself good. Me being a guy of exquisite taste, you know, I would definitely know the good down in spots in the city, though, you know? I know the playoffs in Gersh is going to be <laughs> next level, bro. Y'all going to win? Are we going to win Gersh? Based off the history, I can't promise you that we're going to win it. Okay. I can promise you we'll be there. Okay. Okay? Got now, it. that's a fact. Now, second question. Second question as far as who we watching out for, stuff like this. When you in the driver's seat, B, you ain't looking back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> i
ever played basketball in New York City, we don't know you. You know, you have to come to the Mecca to prove yourself. New York City basketball is the best because of the legacy, the tradition, the heritage. We call it the Hood NBA. People come out to see these people play. People will never leave at the end of the day. This is the roots. This is where you come from. New York has influenced the game in every way. And the best is still yet to come. This ain't about money. These people ain't getting rich off the of street basketball. This is about love of the game of your community. When you say rocker, anywhere in this country, People think about New York City street ball. It's all about giving back. Summertime in New York City, spring, summer, fall, New York City is the best, I think, anywhere on earth, right? The cross mix of culture, you know, the street festivals, the food, people just being out celebrating with their family and loved ones in their community. You can't never be slipping in New York City in a street ball game because there's somebody out there who knows who you are and they're waiting for that opportunity to knock you off.